<sighs> hi, hi, yes, hello, hi, yes. Oh, is this, is this all my, my hair? Yes, yes, this is, this is all my, my hair, yeah. No, is it, is my curl pattern natural? Yes, yes, this is my, my curl pattern is, um, it's natural. What am I mixed with? Oh, black, black and struggle. Uh-huh, but black and struggle, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I'm, I mean, my hair's exotic looking. Oh, no, no, it was derived from the African-American community. Okay, so. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I come to you with this nappy um, puff bun. And today we're going to do a quick wash and go. So let me show you guys what we looking like. Whoa. Yikes. Wow. Yeah. So she's definitely dry. She definitely needs a wash. So we're gonna get into it. Um, so stay tuned. Right now I'm going to put in my favorite pre-poo just to give her a little bit of life, a little bit of moisture, a little bit of je ne sais quoi, just a little something. Okay, you guys, so I just put in my pre poo, which is this African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Cocoa Cocoa Coconut Water Detangling and Conditioning Pre Poo. I have been using this pre poo for a while faithfully, and it's honestly my favorite, like the best. Um, so I just put it in. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm actually working and doing this at the same time. Queen of multitasking. So I'm gonna keep it in, let it sit for a little bit. Then we're gonna get into our wash and go. So I'll be back, you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So I just rinsed out my pre poo. I actually have my detangling conditioner in. It's um, conditioner by Tresemme. Um, it's a conditioner by Tresemme. I will link it down below. Now I'm going to go through and detangle my hair real quick using my favorite detangling brush, the Curltastico detangling brush. And yeah, so I'm going to start in the back and work my way forward in each section. My hair is parted in one, two, three, four sections each side, little butterfly clip, little butterfly clips. So let's get into it, get into it. Now my hair has not been properly detangled in weeks. So excuse the amount of shedding that you're going to see, excuse the disrespect, because 
yeah shorty is mad shorty is like oh now you want to do me yeah shorty's real upset my back always my back and my front always detangle super easily with minimum shedding um it's that middle section that gives me to run for it and i'm just gonna plait it down just to like keep it out the way Keeping my texture up look at my texture so this wash and go is going to be bomb it Okay, you guys, so I'm done with my right side. So I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm gonna complete my left side, and I will be back after I've rinsed out my conditioner. I always rinse out my conditioner with cold water just to like seal in the moisture. Um, my hair is definitely gonna appreciate it because shorty ain't been. When I tell you I haven't been taking care of my hair the way I normally do, I haven't, and it definitely shows. So I'm gonna rinse, do the detangle, rinse out. I will come back um, in my bathroom when it's time to do my lock method and put in my gels for my wash and go. I will be back, you guys. Okay, so I'm back. I'm in my bathroom. <clears throat> I rinsed out my conditioner. I still have my hair in my four sections on each side and now it's time to distribute product. My hair is sopping wet, super wet. And before I distribute my product, I always do the lock method. So liquid oil cream, I'm gonna start in the back. Take this plat down. So we have this plait down this section. Um, I'm still gonna wet it even though I know my hair is wet. I just want it to be like more wet. And I really only rinse out like 80% of my conditioner. I find that that method works best for me. So it's liquid oil. The oil I'll be using is a guess, a guess. All I'll be using is this grapeseed oil. Bring it back, bring it back. Eee, that's a lot. And I literally take it, distribute it through my ends. Oh, it's real sweet today, baby. Oof. Ew. It's um, different. I like grapeseed oil as the sealant for my hair. That's just my personal preference. Next, I'm gonna put in my leave-in, which is by Milani Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger. I did have like a product shot earlier, so you should have seen this. This butter. Texting me. This butter. Let me get my gels open while I'm at it. Like I said, I did do a product sh shot. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. This is like my favorite gel. Okay, let's get into it. Like this. Okay. 
under my hair feels so good now she has not been really washed and detangled in two months don't judge me two months i've been busy y'all i've been so busy you know I'm trying to i really want to revive my channel i want to bring it back up and i just feel like there is so much content that i could be doing and i don't do so i'm gonna start back doing content and one thing that i really get a lot of compliments on is my wash and goes like my wash and goes be flawless every time the only time it's not flawless is when it's like it's a product see the curl snap so i put my extreme wet line gel then i always follow with my aunt jackie's icy curls no i did it backwards i put my aunt jackie icy curls and then i follow with my extreme wet line gel and my wash and goes last roughly about a week about a week i i get good wear good wear in here as you see it a full new one because I knew I was running out of that one so yeah I have a new one on standby God. sorry I'm just in awe with my hair okay next section so I'm gonna do this one regular speed again and then I'm gonna speed it up so let's get into it so again unravel my plaits and then the the secret to a really good wash and go is a really good like detangle like your hair has to be flawlessly detangled for your wash and go to really like snap water I guess I like my hair wet. I do wet, 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 wet. Nice water, grapeseed oil. Into the section. I remember when I first went natural, like I was real nervous about doing wash and goes because they can be real like make it or break it. Either you have a really good wash and go or you don't. And nine times out of ten, it's a technique or it's a product or it's just the fact that your hair doesn't curl the way you want it to curl. Because you don't have that specific curl pattern. I really got lucky to have a nice tight curl pattern. So, I just put my leave-in in, and now I'm put my gels. Sometimes I'll use like a styling leave-in, or like a styling gel in between. Not today. I gotta reintroduce her back to the heavy wash and goes. My hair loves the heavy styling though. The heavy styling, the heavy wash and goes. My hair just does not like protective styles long-term protective styles like braids I hate that my hair doesn't like that because I like that it's more convenient than having to wash my hair every week which is what my hair wants see it's okay. and then my extreme white line and then I also can't do this like diffusing method too which really snaps focus right here do 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 okay so i'm gonna speed it up and when I get to the front on this side, actually, yeah, when I get to the front on this side, then we'll come back.
last section which is my front my bang um so i'm gonna go ahead do my last section for you guys how i typically do my hair is i'll let it sit and let the gel settle for like an hour and then i have a very specific intricate diffusing method so i will come back um i'm gonna do this last section on camera like i said i'm gonna like look at this side like look at, look at this look, oh wait why is my look at this y'all look about this movement about this motion this right here okay sorry sorry there's a mirror right here that's why i keep doing this because i can see like my length and just the definition and just the curls it's just it's just so aesthetically pleasing tonight okay so let's go ahead and do our last section so i think they're doing Water, liquid. Let's do our oil on here. Okay, we want it to thrive. So our liquid, our oil. I'm very generous with my leave-ins. My cream. My roommate is like busting through the house, through the apartment right now. I think she just got back from the gym with our other friend. My roommate and I and two of my other friends actually ran a talk show on YouTube called The Sisters Corner. Y'all should definitely check it out. Get 100% into it. It's witty. So, like I said, real generous. Because I last thing we want is dry hair. Because dry hair is snapped hair. Snapped hair is damaged hair. Alright, so our leave-ins in. Now, time for the chill. from the top but and I'm real generous with the top of my head just because that's the part that freezes the most so my front and like this like the top I'm real generous with my gel And typically, this is a whole like two hour process, y'all. A wash, detangle, and product apply and blow dry is like a two hour process. So it's not that long. Yeah. Alright. Come back. Go take this. Alright, so boom. Okay, so take my gel. And I'm real generous with gel at the ends because, you know, I want my curls to pop. I want my definition to be on saucy. Alright. And I do have a bang. That's why my hair falls the way it does because I do have like a little bang. Need some more gel through this part right. so like I said I typically 
let my hair sit for like an hour like settle let the gel settle and let it start forming and then I have a real specific blow drying technique so y'all I can't <sighs> hi hi yes hello hi yes oh is this, is this all my my hair yes yes this is this is all my my hair yeah no is it is my curl pattern natural yes yes this is my my curl pattern is um it's natural what am I mixed with oh black black and struggle uh -huh. but black and struggle yes mm -hmm. yeah oh I'm I mean my hair's exotic looking oh no no it was derived from the African-American community okay sorry um yeah I have a very specific diffusing technique so I'm gonna let this settle for an hour I will come back and go through my diffusing technique and then I'll be done I really want this video to be like 15 minutes this is just supposed to be a quick wash and go technique video and um yeah so I'm really trying to make it quick I do plan on doing a more detailed one and the detailed one is going to go through like all the products specific products that I use why I use these specific products how I found out that these products work best together um because you don't you know like you kind of just play around anyways I'm rambling I'll be back okay you guys so this is the ending process I have let my hair set for an hour I let my product set. I know it's still kind of white um theoretically my hair is still wet but it's going to um I'm going to show you my special diffusing method that I use my hair is actually going to stay at this length it might shrink maybe like a little bit shorter but typically I can maintain this length so I'm going to tell you how I do it so you don't have to hear the blow dryer but I take this I put it on high hot I rotate between high hot and high cool and I hold it from right here I hold it right here I hold it out I do not let it touch my head I hold it out and I move my hair around out like this out and then to get the inside actually you'll see me dip my hair like this and I'll do it like this to sit the hair on it and then I'll do it like this so yeah so I got it off of a TikTok um I saw how she blew dry her hair and how it came out but she also put her gel in differently and my hair can't handle gel like that I gotta rake it through so um this technique normally takes me about an hour to get it dry so I'm gonna go through I'm gonna record a little bit and then I'll come back at the end and y'all can see Miss Mamas in her full on wash and go glory Hey guys, I come to you with a head that's 80%. I know you still see like the products in the front. Trust me, it's still wet. That's why the product is still showing. My product blend is effortlessly, so this will be gone. But my hair is 80% dry. My hair is 80% dry. Check this movement, check this definition, yeah, it's definitely a good wash and go. Get into it, get into it. So yeah, you guys, this is the end of my wash and go. 
um definitely want you guys to stay tuned i have more things coming this will be up and then by the end of the week i'll have another video up for you guys so get into it like it love it you see this movement and i told you it was going to remain that that same length so it's um sitting right at my shoulders actually i really my hair length goal is for my whole head to sit at my shoulders dry you know but i'm just happy to have healthy hair as well so one step at a time but yeah, you guys it's yes if you can't tell i 100 percent love my hair okay i'll catch you guys later on the flip side bye